what are your views uh, if such bone grafting procedure is also required in the immediate loading dental implants? The design of the implant. Now this convention root form implant is there. Their design is like that. They mimic the root of a tooth. So when the root is there, the tooth was there. When the tooth has gone, so there's always a collapse of the bone, resorption of the bone take place. So there are two aspects are there. Now you do a bone grafting, but it is against the nature. So whatever the bone grafting you are going to do, it has a high chance of failure or resorption will be there. Some in cancer patients, something, the resection or the extirpation or the jaw has been taken out, full jaw, half jaw taken. So now we do the autogenous grafting, so that when we are going to create it, so that is a part of your body and the vessels also we are going to lag it. Because it was a basic framework of the body was there, but in when you take out the tooth, the, the part that is not necessary, it will just resolve. So you are unnecessarily creating actually that part is ready to resolve. It's in inevitable that it will getting resolved, means lost. Okay. So this grafting and all the thing, you are doing only because of the following the design of the implant. So if you go with the corticobasal implant, that design is like that. They are anchoring only the most vital bone, most predictable bone, the cortical bone. Rest is just the thin shaft is there, polished shaft. So where the bone has lost also, it doesn't matter at all. So for me, the grafting and the immediate functional loading doesn't go side by side at all. Means we have all the cases that bone is not there. That's why we are so convinced the patients are always there for us.